<laughs> hey, the hola. Okay, so we're listening to Daft Punk, which kind of makes it less, makes her less than, makes us less than the Mexican, I guess. But the thing is, I don't know how to be Mexican. Yeah, that's the thing. And, and I'm half Mexican, Mexican. Okay, but I'm trying to explain it, and you just cut in out of nowhere. We can go ahead and say it. Go ahead. No, just. No, go you go ahead and say it. No. I don't want to say it anymore. I already said it. Okay, well, she said it already. I'm really grumpy because I'm tired, so leave me alone. Anyways, we're Mexican. And my mom, well, yeah, two different moms. My mom, she introduced me to the belt. That thing scared me. It has a name on it. And when it hits you, the thing's right on the side of your leg. Go backwards. And it hurts. It really does. And I think my first word in Spanish is probably some food. Hold on. Food. Nachos. Okay, see, that's not your first word because you don't know how to say it. What Spanish word do you know? Hola. Okay. That's it. Start. So, here is a story about when I was little, when I was introduced to menudo. I wanted some menudo. I was hungry, but I wanted lemon. I put lemon in my menudo. Mm, that's good. So, I wanted my own lemon, but my brother offered to give me his. I didn't want his germs, so I got my own lemon, got a knife, and I started to cut it, and I cut my thumb off. But I didn't cry because I didn't think, I thought it was normal to just bleed and get on the knife. It didn't hurt. It was just like... Ah, I didn't scream out. <laughs> so, I went to the doctor, they sewed it back on, I got up, I was dizzy, bumping into everybody, they gave me a lollipop, I couldn't even enjoy it, I just knew it was in my hand. But the manuva was good, I think, I don't really think I even had it. Anyways, let's see. The first thing that I ever had was when I was in, no, when I was 13. That was my first party ever. I never had any kind of birthday party in my life, and that was the first one. And then, when I was little, my mom used to scare me with the kukui. Because she said, if you didn't go to sleep, the kukui's going to get you. And I'm still here. Yeah. You gonna come back? That story about your thumb already. Oh, my thumb? Well, it's back on there. I have a little scratch. Ew. So tell me about your Mexican thigh. What do you do? Well, no way. Basically, nothing. All you do is just stay up and watch TV. Play outside. A lot of Mexican, you know, parties at night. Mm. I Okay. Like at New Year's. Wow, that was a big party. Okay, I think everyone has parties on New Year's. No, I mean like it was like a big, big party. There was. Okay, there, there, um, are you confetti? saying they were full of Mexicans or what? There's like <laughs> confetti all over my house. There's the floors like covered with confetti and beer stains, and then the kids wines. Oh, I love the kids wines, especially the red. Uh, what was it? Red grape. Love that. I don't think they know what you're talking about. The kids wine, red grape. Okay. <laughs> the kids wine. They don't have any wine for kids. Yes, they do. No, oh, it's just real wine. I thought it's, it's fruit juice. punch. It's just like it's juice. fruit punch. They just gave you fruit okay, punch. Okay. Not wine. okay. Cool. I want some juice. Stop talking. I'm so tired. So. I can't really say anything about my black side. 
because my dad is from New York, and like his side of the family, they're kind of proper, and I don't know to say they're very artistic. They're not all out yelling in your face. They're just there, going to school, going places. They seem very educated. Kind of different, but um, kind of happy for them. I hope to go to school too. So yep. yep. What about you? What about your black and white? I don't really know. <laughs> I just you know Mexican side a lot. I'm so sleepy. I'm getting juice. Sure. Juice. <laughs> You know I'm sick, right? No, you can have it here. We did it anyway. You know, I don't know how to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Because I never have in my life. Because my mom, I don't think she celebrates it. She's not really that deep into her heritage or whatever, culture or something like that. She's not into it. But, yeah, I really don't know what they do for single women. And I would love to go to Mexico because, never mind, I'm scared. Because I don't want to get dragged by those cartels and stuff and die or shot. So I don't know what they do. I wish I knew Spanish. I wish I knew Spanish. Okay, for mine, we normally do like quesadillas and chips with salsa, guacamole. Why do you say guacamole? Guac. Why do you say guacamole? Guacamole. Can you say it like a Mexican? Why not? How would you say like a Mexican? Guacamole. Guacamole. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> um, we normally have Mexican music because we have quesadillas. No. Quesadillas. No. Quesadilla. No. Quesadilla. no. <laughs> okay. okay, we'll pass that. Quesadilla. And normally we have one of those circle dances, so we, you know, we dance. Dip, 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 dip. Yeah. <laughs> normally I just call it circle dance. I don't Why know. do you call it circle dance? Okay. Because it's in the circle? Yes, that's what it is. You know what? It's time for a break. We're going on break. Okay. Bye. Bye.